let, let me tell you something that TV doesn't show you. TV doesn't show you how many times Steph Curry is on the court. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not jabbing at you or anybody else, Max, because half the time sure. I got to watch the game on TV. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying to you is that when you're away from the play and the TV camera is showing a point being scored or whatever, I could not count how many times Steph Curry was on the floor last night. They're getting physical with him. They were attacking him. And by attacking, I don't just mean your man gets the ball, so you know what, I'm going to dance on you because you can't defend. No, Steph Curry is a capable defender. Not elite, but he's a capable defender, as you've said many times. What I'm saying to you, Max, they're running him around picks. They're putting bodies on him. They're making sure that he gets touched and that is a problem when you are a shooter and a finesse player extraordinaire this is what makes Kevin Durant so special because in his own way not LeBron like but in a different way he's a physical freak of nature because he's 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan who can shoot over anybody so it's special to see from that vantage point but what you got to recognize is that Steph Curry is still just 6'3 and so when you look at him with his slight frame and what have you the marksmanship those legs are incredibly important you know how your legs get taken out from under you one way is through the injury that he suffered from months ago another way is when you're trying to recover from it and you're constantly having to expend energy and stretch ligaments and beyond by getting up off the floor and he was on the floor constantly you should have seen Chris Paul attacking this dude. And I'm talking about even when he didn't have the ball. They just made sure the shoulders, the elbows, the leaning on him with their bodies. Damn near every single play, somebody was touching Steph Curry. And that, to me, can throw you off. When you got a, a guy that's relatively slight a frame, and you're going, you, I mean, to see T TJ, you know, PJ Tucker and these boys, I mean, these are, they look they look normal on TV. In per these are some massive dudes, man. Diesel, These some big yeah. boys. And when you, and when you look at, at Steph Curry next to them, it's like, damn, it just shows you, it makes you appreciate the level of greatness Steph Curry must have to do what he has done over the course of his career. But in the end, what it comes down to is that they are making him feel them and ultimately that's going to contribute to you having trouble regaining your shot regaining your form and that's what's going on with Steph Curry right now that's the reason that I'm concerned it's not because of the game itself it's because of the injury the grade 2 MCL sprain that clearly was tweaked last night as far as I'm concerned because he didn't look right to me but the other point is the physicality and what's surprising Stephen about a. that Max is that in today's yep. NBA game the NBA was supposed to be dissuading that kind of stuff, you know, softening it up to Cottonelle tissue proportions. But no, that's not the so case much. last night. They were they were all over Steph Curry. If the Houston Rockets are allowed to get away with that level of physicality, you might be right. They may win this series.